Have you ever wondered what it was like to live under the rule of one of history's most ruthless leaders, Joseph Stalin? This man, born in 1878 in the Russian Empire, would rise to become the leader of the Soviet Union and rule with an iron fist. His ascent to power was marked by a series of strategic moves, alliances and purges that would see him emerge as the undisputed leader of the Soviet Union by the late 1920s. Stalin's rule brought about radical changes in the Soviet Union. He transformed a largely agrarian society into a major world industrial power. But these changes came at a steep cost. The lives of ordinary people were dramatically altered, often for the worse, as Stalin's policies led to widespread famine, repression, and the loss of millions of lives. As we delve deeper into the life and regime of Stalin, we will uncover the grim realities of his rule. Born in 1878, Joseph Stalin had a humble beginning, but he was destined to change the course of history. In the small village of Gori, in the Russian province of Georgia, a young boy named Yoseb Bessarionis Dzejugashvili was born to a poor family. This young boy would later adopt the name Joseph Stalin, a moniker meaning Man of Steel, reflecting his unyielding determination and iron will. As a child Stalin faced adversity, his life marked by poverty and hardship. However these early years also shaped his character instilling in him a resolve to rise above his circumstances. His journey into politics began when he was sent to a seminary to train as a priest, but instead, he found his calling in the revolutionary ideas of Karl Marx. The seeds of his future as a leader were planted in these formative years. His involvement in the revolutionary movement grew, and by 1901, he joined the Russian Social Democratic Labor Party, which later split into two factions, the Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks. Stalin sided with the Bolsheviks, led by Vladimir Lenin. His loyalty and knack for organization soon caught Lenin's attention, and he climbed steadily through the ranks of the party. Stalin played a significant role in the Russian Revolution of 1917, which overthrew the Tsarist autocracy and led to the rise of the Soviet Union. His strategic and administrative skills were critical in the success of the revolution. However, it was in the power vacuum left by Lenin's death in 1924 that Stalin truly emerged as a formidable leader. Through a series of political maneuvers, Stalin outmaneuvered his rivals and consolidated his power, ultimately becoming the general secretary of the Communist Party and later, the leader of the Soviet Union. Stalin's rise to power was not without controversy. His methods were ruthless and his leadership style autocratic. He was a man of contradictions, both a revolutionary and a dictator, a man who led his country to industrialization and yet caused the death of millions. Stalin's rise to power was marked by cunning, ruthlessness, and an unwavering determination to establish a socialist state. As Stalin tightened his grip on power, a period of severe political repression and mass killings known as the Red Terror ensued. The Red Terror, a chilling chapter in the history of the Soviet Union, was sparked by a potent mix of political ideology and power consolidation. Stalin, fearing opposition and dissent, resolved to silence any voices of resistance. His solution was as brutal as it was effective. The Red Terror was driven by a profound paranoia that permeated every corner of the Soviet Union. It was a time when neighbor turned against neighbor, friend against friend, each fearing that the other might be a spy or a traitor. This climate of fear was carefully cultivated by Stalin and his secret police, who sowed seeds of mistrust amongst the populace and encouraged citizens to report any suspicious behavior. Stalin's secret police, the NKVD, was instrumental in implementing the Red Terror. They were tasked with identifying and eliminating the so-called enemies of the people, a broad term that could encompass anyone from political dissidents to ordinary citizens who had merely fallen out of favor. Thousands were arrested, tortured, and executed without trial. Their families often left in the dark about their fate. The impact of the Red Terror on the Soviet Union was profound. It effectively silenced any opposition to Stalin's regime creating an atmosphere of fear that stifled dissent and promoted absolute loyalty to the state. It also led to a significant loss of life with estimates ranging from hundreds of thousands to over a million victims. The Red Terror also had far-reaching social and cultural impacts. It created a culture of fear and suspicion that permeated every aspect of society, from the workplace to the home. This culture of fear would persist long after the end of the Red Terror, casting a long shadow over the Soviet Union's history. But perhaps the most significant impact of the Red Terror was the consolidation of Stalin's power. It demonstrated in no uncertain terms 
the lengths that Stalin would go to maintain his control over the Soviet Union, a control he would wield with an iron fist until his death in 1953. The Red Terror was a grim testament to the length Stalin would go to maintain his control over the Soviet Union. Stalin's rule was further characterized by a series of purges, aimed at eliminating perceived threats to his regime. These purges, which became collectively known as the Great Purge, were a systematic campaign of political repression and murder that ran rampant from 1936 to 1938. The reasons behind the Great Purge were deeply rooted in Stalin's paranoia and his insatiable desire for absolute power. Stalin saw enemies everywhere, and in his mind these enemies were plotting against him, threatening to topple his regime. This fear was not entirely unfounded. The Soviet Union was surrounded by nations with hostile ideologies, and within the Union itself, there were those who opposed Stalin's policies. Stalin's response was swift and brutal. He initiated a witch hunt, targeting anyone who he believed posed a threat. This included high-ranking members of the Communist Party, military officers, and ordinary citizens. Those accused were often subjected to show trials, where the verdict was predetermined and the accused were forced to confess to crimes they did not commit. The sentences were severe, often resulting in execution or long terms in labor camps. The scale of Stalin's purges was staggering. Hundreds of thousands of people were arrested and tens of thousands were executed. The purges spread fear throughout the Soviet Union. No one was safe. A careless word, a misplaced loyalty or even a personal grudge could lead to accusations of treason. The impact of the purges on the Soviet Union was profound. They decimated the ranks of the military and the Communist Party, severely weakening the Union's ability to function effectively. They also created a climate of fear that stifled dissent and encouraged blind obedience to the regime. The purges served as a brutal reminder of Stalin's absolute power and his willingness to eliminate anyone who stood in his way. They remain one of the darkest chapters in the history of the Soviet Union, a testament to the lengths a leader will go to maintain their grip on power. The death of Stalin in 1953 marked the end of a brutal era, but the scars of his regime would linger for decades. The aftermath of Stalin's rule was a time of considerable turmoil and change for the Soviet Union. With the abrupt end of his iron-fisted leadership, the nation found itself in a state of flux. The Stalinist policies of rapid industrialization and forced collectivization had transformed a largely agrarian society into a global superpower, but at a tremendous human cost. Millions had died from famines, purges and gulags, leaving a nation traumatized and a populace deeply mistrustful of its government. The impact of Stalin's rule wasn't confined to the Soviet Union alone. It reverberated around the globe shaping the course of the Cold War and influencing international politics and relations for years to come. Stalin's aggressive expansionist policies and his creation of a buffer zone of satellite states in Eastern Europe set the stage for the geopolitical chess match that would define the latter half of the 20th century. Stalin's legacy is a complex one, fraught with controversy. To some he is remembered as the leader who modernized Russia and played a pivotal role in the defeat of Nazi Germany. To others, he is a tyrant, whose reign of terror resulted in the deaths of millions and whose policies led to widespread suffering and hardship. In the years following Stalin's death, the Soviet Union grappled with the weight of his legacy. Under the leadership of Nikita Khrushchev, the country embarked on a process of de-Stalinization seeking to dismantle the cult of personality that had surrounded Stalin and to moderate the harshness of his policies. However, the effects of Stalin's rule could not be erased overnight, and his influence continues to be felt in Russia and beyond. Stalin's rule reshaped the Soviet Union and the world in profound ways, leaving a legacy that continues to be debated to this day. The rule of Joseph Stalin was a defining period in the 20th century, marked by fear, repression and dramatic social and political change. This era, deeply intertwined with the Red Terror, saw an unprecedented level of state violence, with purges and executions becoming the order of the day. Stalin's early years, steeped in hardship and struggle, set the stage for his iron-fisted rule, leaving an indelible mark on Soviet history. The aftermath of his rule, a nation grappling with the repercussions of institutionalized terror, continues to shape the perception and debates about Stalin's legacy. Was he a necessary evil? a product of his time, or was he the embodiment of a system gone awry? These questions remain the subject of ongoing discourses, reflecting the complexity of this historical figure. 
The story of Stalin and the Red Terror serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the profound impact that one leader can have on the course of history.